Carrie Fulton. She's an environmental justice advocate. Carrie, thanks so much for uh, joining us. Uh, we heard in that report earlier uh, this year uh, a major emissions reduction pledge from China. Now, there's a whole discussion of, of whether or not it was enough, but given China's stepping up, does that move the needle for other countries, do you think, to, to take action as well? Well, we would hope so. I think that if countries want to be real players for the future and not just for the now, that they would want to be competitive in building out these solutions as well. But uh, time will tell. There's lots of different types of governments and lots of different factors to play into that decision. Despite all of the efforts that were highlighted over the course of the year, the young climate activist Greta Thunberg uh, dismissed one of the major gatherings as, quote, blah, blah, blah. Um, is she right? Is this just talk for the sake of talk? Well, these are really hard decisions. And yes, a lot of times it can feel like it is talk for the sake of talk. Also, when we look at the um, most recent UN climate change negotiations, we noticed that there were more business interests there. There were more business NGOs that were there than people, um, the everyday um, NGO observers. And that can create a real problem when we're not having all of the voices present, just the corporate interests. You are an environmental justice advocate, not an environmental advocate, um, suggesting that this is not just about climate change, but about an injustice. How so? In many different ways. When we think about something as drastic as global climate change, we're talking about inequity in totality. We're talking about the fact that uh, we have countries like the Maldives that are say these solutions are not fast enough for our country to make it. And that doesn't feel like justice. When we think about those who are impacted first and worst by hurricanes, droughts, increase of natural disasters, it's not necessarily going to be the people who can just pay their way out of the situation. Uh, for people watching at home who want to be a part of the solution, what sort of things can they do now, right now, to help fight climate change? There are so many different things that people can do right now. Maybe thinking about the choices they make. Um, if we're talking about utilizing less stuff, maybe it's even those small things like if, you, if, it's, if you're able to, uh, driving less. However, um, there's also the reality that it takes more than just the simple actions of one person to change the world. We all have to be in it together, and that includes our governments. So the most important thing that people can do is to remain active and engaged in these conversations and also to push their legislators to make the right decisions when it comes to not only our future, but the future of children we've never even met before.